go no further. Stay here. Don't head cross back. It. Now! Great. You're back. Your determination to set things right gave me the courage to act. It wasn't easy to leave, but it was time to take back what they stole from me, and to stop Mary from destroying us all with her insane plans. Mary and her evolutionists imprisoned me here. It was where they experimented on me, tortured me. I will never forget that. I'll do whatever I can to help. The rest is up to you. You had potential, Mayfly. We could have changed the world together, you and I. Do you seriously think you can stop me? How silly. If you manage to find me, I will give you one last chance. And join me before it's too late. But first, enjoy this little game I prepared for you. All units, destroy the intruder. I knew you wouldn't disappoint me, Mayfly. Welcome to the place of my birth. Our frontier wants to witness this miracle with us. Except you show them a little hospitality. Do not disappoint me, Father. Receptor LD0A1 has displayed strong survival instincts even in the test tube stage. It has already destroyed five sibling receptors and absorbed their remains in a process that seems to be very similar to the way a infected creature absorbs its original self. I've decided to give LD0A1 the code name Mary. Once the incubation phase is complete, she will be given her own personal space and receive comprehensive training and instruction.
She must be raised to know her purpose. Just as she devoured her sibling receptors, her purpose will be to seek out the strongest strains among the human race, absorb them, and in doing so, save the rest of humanity. Mr. Ames should be given a quiet, restrained welcome. My father has never been a fan of grand displays. Mr. Ames has invested vast sums in this facility, and we must show him that his investment has not gone to waste. That we have something to show from our years of research. Oh, and tell him that the girl is now completely under our control, and that we have dissected the secrets of her sublimation. We are also considering allowing her some contact with Mitsuko. They are close in age, but vastly different in temperament and talent. Allowing the two to meet may well lead to some interesting new findings. We have secured humanity itself. And the girl is ready to be devoured like a light snack. Mr. Ames can eat the girl alive if he wants to. And then, all of Rosetta, all of what's left of humanity, will bow down before us. The evolutionists! This is a matter of you letting me succeed. With you standing here before me, my plan is already complete. The force of evolution is unstoppable. This time, Humanity will reach a higher plane of existence than it has ever known before. But for that, humanity must yield. Including you. Thank you. 